All right, guys, what is going on? Brian back with another episode of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So as you guys know, last episode we started Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and um, it's pretty damn dope. It's it's pretty dope. I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I know a lot of people have been you know comparing this one with Wildlands. I don't have enough experience in this one yet to give you guys my opinion, but I could say so far uh, I'm enjoying it just as much as I was enjoying Wildlands. Um, now, I honestly, people were, it was weird because people were saying that Ghost Recon Wildlands had a better story, but I, I would honestly say when you compare the two games, Wildlands really didn't have a story. It was more of like a sandbox. And uh, I, I would say this game honestly feels like it has more of a story than Wildlands does. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes, how this story unfolds. But uh, I'm enjoying it. Definitely enjoying it. Now, I. I got the squad here. We uh, came, we linked up with Hill. And we have another mission. Where was it? Yeah, it was up here. Nope, not that one. Up here. Yeah, that, that was the one I want to do. I want to investigate those dog tags. And then we got the Skell Foundation head office uh, down here. But I wanted to do some of these side quests really quick. Um, like this one here. We'll go up here and grab this. And we'll grab this. I, I was thinking about changing my outfit too at some point. When we get back to the main base, we're going to go ahead and change our outfit. Now we're going to head up this way. I think I might be able to take the water. No, that's super fun. <laughs> Never mind. Definitely not taking the water. Well, actually, I don't have a car over here either. That's the difference. Oh, we do have a car right here in the back. Uh, the difference between Wildlands and Breakpoint is uh, you can't call any vehicles in like you can in Wildlands. At least not where I'm at currently. Uh, you can change your gear and weapons once you get... Oh, of, of my team? Okay, hell yeah. Okay, so... What is this, a fucking high-speed golf cart? Not what I expected, but okay. So I'm going to drive down here. We're going to get on the main road. The main road would probably be the easiest way. And then we'll, we'll kind of go up here. That's where I'll turn. We'll take this down to the main road. Yeah, the tactical golf cart. I like that gun sound, man. It sound real good. Okay, so now we gotta be careful. On the main road, um, there's definitely those patrols. We definitely got to be a little vigilant. And, and here in our golf cart, we're a little exposed, like right there. Got those security patrols that are on the main road here. A train was coming, guys. Mm. 
Dortano from Philly, how you doing? I appreciate you all coming and hanging out. Like I said, I hope you guys are... They should be able to keep up. Man hands back. <laughs> I still can't believe that shit was funny. Somebody was trying to troll Crystal on her uh, one of her videos, guys. And she had man hands. Like her hands are tiny as fuck, dude. Whoa, 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 look at that area. Oh shit. I hit one. Enemy down. Yo, that, them guys could shoot, man. So from what I've played so far, which one do I prefer, Wildlands or this? Um, I mean, if I had to pick... I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I, I would say they're both the same. I don't. This feels like Wildlands. Just the gameplay feels a little different. It's there. Just keep heading straight up this road. right into my damn my golf cart here guys uh, by the end of this episode we'll see I, I should have I'm hoping to have a good understanding by the end of this episode yeah, uh, hopefully we survive driving through this camp That sniper guy, he's he's insane. Okay. So th this swamp area kind of sucks, man. Leave our vehicle here. Got this patrol in front of me. Roger, moving. Roger, moving to target. I heard we nailed some chopper. We got a chopper in the skies. In. Watch yourself. I haven't heard anything. Got them. They're down. Good hits. Like this game definitely has more of a of a of a like feel like a like a spec ops team that's down behind enemy lines, a little bit more desperation. Where I felt like the powerhouse in Wildlands, like you know, you, you literally in, in Wildlands, you feel like you have the whole power of the American government and everything behind you. This game, you kind of really feel like you're you're on your own. Grown.
I think it's just the two of them. Just the two of them. Activating night vision goggles. Um. You're already under arrest, buddy. Don't make it worse than it has to be. Moving to the target. I have no clue, I swear. On target. We're set. I'm set to take out the target. Well done. <sighs> Greetings, stranger. Um... I'm in need of this weapon attachment. Know where I can find it? I actually know where you can find that. Thanks a million. Got another Jeep right there we could take. Seeing as our tactical golf cart is, uh... Oh, damn it, I keep forgetting I wanted to... I need to break those down. It is what it is, though. Let's see what this was. Uh, investigate the location where the dial attacks were found. I was trying to hit that before it didn't work. I had to hit enter. I had to hit enter. Maybe I always had to hit enter. I was like mouse clicking and it wasn't doing it. Okay, so that was it. We just had to come up here and grab that. That was easy enough. And then we have this one over here. Which is uh, the polymorph modeling. She needs vital components to make repairs. Um, relatively close by. We can head over there. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm starting to notice things on the map here, too. Heavy gunner chest rig. So, I can, what, if I go to these locations, I could potentially find, like, the Oakley lightweight gloves, that cowboy hat, this helmet here, new pants, new boots. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, what we're going to do is we'll head back to the main road, and then we'll just take the main road uh, back up. Oh, God, you're not supposed to be here. The tactical golf cart can make it. We, we can make it in this, right?
I'll show you the area. Enemy forces! Gonna hit Returning fire! Shit! Sniper set to fire! Let's take it right up here. Just following this road up. We're on our way, just knocking out these side quests we're from uh, the main base. Figured we'd knock him out. Hey, where's that driver on? Here they come! I'll size him up. Starting scan. Right, hopefully this place isn't too technically advanced. So it looks like we can breach right over this here. So arm personnel in the front. So we're clear all the way up this back way. There is somebody there, but it just looks like a scientist. Cafeteria area. Yeah, so we're clear. We can make our way up. Drop down over here. Actually, we don't even have to risk going in the building there. We can just come this way. Head up through here. And then I believe what we're looking for is inside. Now, there's a good chance there's going to be... Armed personnel inside. Oh, it looks pretty clear. Switch my rifle over to close range. So it seems like a lot of the security on this building's in the front. The really, really soft entry here back. Let's 
So I don't know what the inside of these labs are gonna look like. Clear. Oh my god. Who are you? Oh, please. What the hell? I'm not here to hurt you. You're... you're not with Sentinel? Those assholes. They've killed everyone. I might do I'm just sorry, but listen. Smiling. I need to know what you can make with this equipment. With the right set of blueprints? Anything. And I mean literally anything. Ours is a prototype. It fabricates metal alloys. You just need the raw materials and, and it prints in any chemical configuration. The applications are limitless. Our generator could revolutionize the energy industry. The parts for the device and electricity from dirt. And that's just the beginning. Electricity from the dirt. Or weapons from the sky. Listen, the application could be dangerous in the wrong hands. I get it. We were on the verge of changing everything. Those dumb soldiers took the two components the printer needs to convert the raw materials. Science finds a way to make power cheaply, and, and these bastards steal my equipment to make bombs and guns. If you can get those parts back, I could continue my work. It could really make a difference here. Well, you know, protecting the fate of the world from Sentinel seems pretty important. The only question is, where am I going? There's a port in Smuggler Coves. It shouldn't be too difficult to get to from here. The second is on a sentinel convoy. I'll give you the route. Perfect. You guys are saying that he kind of looks like me? I wish I could grow a beard like that. Okay, I'm not... I mean, what I could do is I could change my beard, make it more like mine. Like, like a medium stubble. We could we could just rock the goatee. Nice. Uh, how do you change the color of this thing? Uh, it is, guys. it is there it is uh let's see can i get the uh i i wish i had like the uh, the actual headsets to throw those on a little more high speed i i haven't unlocked any though so. the baseball cap isn't isn't vibing though <laughs> yeah I, i'm gonna buy when we get back to base guys i'm gonna buy some stuff from the from the camp
Wish I had my cross comms, guys. Though I really want the cross comms back. I gotta do oper something Operation Motherland to get those. What do you guys think? Cap forward or cap backwards? Oh, those glasses are just too edgy. I'm Forward. Got a lot of forward in the chat. Right, we'll throw, we'll throw, we'll throw it back on forward. Kind of kills the edginess. One last thing I want to change, guys. I've been, I've been not. Really feeling the t-shirt we've been wearing. I wanted to get something else on. So let's see. Get a multicam hoodie. Full multicam. Just a curve knife. That's somebody said that will fix the uh that little weird animation glitch we were having. Where do we gotta go? We go check this weapon container really quick. HTI? Damn, guys. It's a monster rifle right there. Ah! Oh. So I want to drop my G28 for it though. I love my G28 because like. I don't know, chat. I don't know. Because I could swap the G28. Let's see if I can get the. A different scope on here. So I could do the dual range on here also. So just in case I need to do some like close range shooting. But I don't know, it's I, I uh. Actually, my G28 has better stats than that HTI. I, and obviously it's because I upgraded it. Yeah, we're going to keep the G28, guys. I would like that HTI, but I got a bunch of upgrades in this rifle right now, and it hits different anyways, so we're good. I just can't do it, guys. The G28 is just, it's a very versatile weapon system. And I, that, that's why I'm feeling it. I just. I hid my red car in the bush, guys. I was trying to be all be all tactical. Park my red car in the bush. Okay, so we're gonna follow the main road up. Uh first is here. You 
You can clean your gun in the paint. I, I, oh, I'm gonna have to check that out. That was quick and easy. This truck is moving. One hundred percent moving. Let's see, where's the road? Um, actually, probably could have intercepted it down here instead of chasing it. Drop the we got the truck here. Got this patrol right here. Give us an extra edge. I think we're clear. Am I supposed to destroy these trucks, or are we, uh, take components from truck? I wonder if I should grab this Humvee. This might be a better vehicle. No, he actually threw the body out. That's really funny. Yeah, 
you know, some people's good choice. This one seems like it's sitting still. Oh, this place is huge. You want a piece of me? Hostile hit! Here to help! Hit. He's dead! I smoked him! Get this cover, no man! You gotta get patched up! Fuck. He's down! Grenade coming in! Injured him. Oh. We're good. Um, all right, so we got it. Patch up. Work out what game we were playing for a second there, guys. Yeah, just getting shot itself. Um, you, you, you take some injuries, and that shit can be rough. Ooh. Okay, so this area is no joke. As you guys can see, only bridges to get in. On to baddies. Thinking about maybe we can approach from the water. I would like to know where in the base. I hope it's not that central building right there. It, it, it's probably the central building. So, um... Gather missing components, reach the port, smugglers bay, and then just find the missing components. But it doesn't, Sentinel soldiers know where the components are. Okay, so we got to get in there, snag up a soldier, get intel on where the components are being held. So we kind of kind of find a guy, we got to isolate him. Doing this at night would be so much better. Okay, so that guy over there has the intel. So not every enemy has intel. It's only the ones that have the intel marker. So is there any way in this game to wait until nighttime, kind of like you could in uh in Breakpoint? Let me see. Don't see anything on it. Oh, I got to do it at a bivouac. Okay, so I you can't just do it, like, anywhere, right? I don't even know where the closest bivouac is to here.
Oh, there's a blueprint in here, guys. That's what we need to start looking for, too, is gun blueprints. The weapons that like, could be out of sight, they don't really matter all that much. It's We need blueprints. But yeah, that'll give us a 50 cal. Dude, it's a nice rifle. It looks like there's a bivouac up that way. No bivouac's really super close by. That one up there is the closest one way over there it is what it is we're just gonna we're just be dealing with it during the daytime all right so let's find a way down uh i could follow this road could jump try to use the parachute but we remember in wildlands how uh how that works we could try it screw it We're like way high up now. Oh, there's a bivouac right here. Oh, did it? Okay, so it actually moved me to that bivouac site. Perfect. Rest up until the nighttime. Craft some new bandages. Yeah, bandages are maxed. We'll get one of these syringes. Craft up a syringe. This is good. Gotta eat. So now how do we change? Oh, actually break the camp. No, you son of a bitch. Okay, I see it. Hit break rip. All right, I figured it out. So yeah, when you go to break camp, it gives you the... Uh break camp, and we will break at 2143. Ghost actual. Nomad, over. Send it. Ready to track down Manticore, sir. Okay. Target Manticore is Stepan Belovich, a Bodark specializing in drone tech. He's supervising the production line. They've already produced the drones capable of carrying. <laughs>
Ghost actual. Nomad, over. Send it. Ready to track down Manticore, sir. Okay. Target Manticore is Stepan Belovich, a Bodark specializing in drone tech. He's supervising the production line. They've already produced the drones capable of carrying nerve gas. Now, the shipment's last known whereabouts were the harbor. Those drones absolutely have to be destroyed. Deliveries only happen during hours of darkness, so you'll have a little cover. Stand by for a map with a potential infill point. But disregard if you got a better idea. See the world. Huh. Roger the that. No mad out. Okay, let me see what we got. Uh, it's not so bad. At least we're not getting shot. Besides, the other Russians seem a lot Oh, that, yeah, that's a super a ability. ability. What the fuck? You seen the sports cars? It's got some collection. Uh, not yet. Okay, so both of these dudes have intel that we could use. Problem is, only grab one of them. Let me get a clean shot. Moving to the target. On your go, ghost lead. Got that hostile. What if I hit this light? Let me get my eyes on him, ghost lead. Crystal clear. They more than outnumber us. Take care. Whoa. Okay, oh, shit. Clear. Dead. Rock and roll. We're not alone. Uh... Shit. I got out of the fire. I went to grab the guy and I tried to grab the guy on the ground. There's one change I'm gonna make right now, I can tell you already. I've Switching to night vision. We're in the clear. So one of the things I'm going to change right off the bat, guys, is um. Settings. Special abilities for the turning them shits off because they're kind of OP. We're just going to wait.
Honestly, we should probably just head back to the bivouac. Um, let that camp chill out because yeah, we. I went to go grab the guy and I try. I tried to grab the guy on the ground, so it, it failed. But I forgot the intel guys. When you kill them, they don't die. They just lay on the ground. So I could have dropped both of them and just grabbed one of them. So we're gonna try that again. Get to that back side. On your toes. We got hostiles nearby. Oh, they're still laid out too. So they're still uh, kind of on alert, even right now. Maneuvering now, boss. Rock, moving to the target. Ready, go, sleet. Activating night vision. Want to get in a position where I could, uh... All of those guys. Those what eight guys? Hey, my sector's clear. Just keep your eyes up. Uh, keep your head up and watch for bad guys. I think that's where our objective is. Switching the night vision.
Night vision on. Putting on night vision. There it is, boss. There it is. Sniper shot. We gotta move quick. Enemy contact! Watch it! I know a sniper about to shoot! There's somewhere out there. I'm here! Laying down fire! Hit this one bad real quick, guys. Shot, dude. Let me see about getting the hell out of here. Um, yeah, that was the part for the mission. I'm just trying to look at the map, see if there's a helo pad anywhere on this island. I don't see one. That might be that weapon blueprint, actually. Let's go check the... Go check that building. We've already killed a lot of the guys here, so we should be okay. I believe that's a weapon blueprint, though.
Almost lit you up, lady. Get him! I hit one! Hostile down! There it is. So yeah, we got our first rifle blueprint. He's dead. All right, and there was no helo site at all here, so we're gonna have to just kind of grab a truck and leave. Maybe we could bail through the water. Smoked him. Putting on night vision. Hilo bottom left. There's something up here too. Some kind of blueprint. What is that? Clothing. Down! A sniper's about to fire! Got the heavy gun and chest rig. good so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the main base we'll drop off these quests once we're out of a fight yeah i didn't see a helo anywhere i mean it's fine we're just gonna we're gonna be fast traveling anyway so and we'll, we'll try to get a new helo when we get back to base Charlie, how you doing And then while we're here, we're also going to look at buying some new clothing bits. We don't want any trouble here. And you look like trouble. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. So I don't have to turn that those parts in here. It's not. I believe I got the mission up here from her. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. All right, let's see what they got. Let's get you set up with what you need. The future soldier headgear. Yo, I... Guess I want that so bad. Expensive though. It's expensive though.
<laughs> soft cups are free. There's not really any blueprints or anything I would want to buy. I was just thinking about buying like maybe some kind of like face Let me covering. Know what you need. But for the face coverings, they don't really have too many of that. Like, I could rock the half mask, but, eh. I don't even see any other free stuff. I've seen the soft gloves. Those were free. Uh, this, that's free. Um, oh, these are free. This is free. We got Crosscom goggles fairly cheap. Guys, what if I went and just dropped um, 10,000 scale credits on the future soldier headgear right now? Would you, would you judge me? I got the money. Screw it. I'm doing it. It's my life, guys. My life. <laughs> it's my life. You ever think we'd end up here? Is. Rather change our gear up a bit, though, to flow with it, but that's fine. Uh, what does it fall under? Accessories, right? We're gonna roll with. I'm trying to think of a good color scheme that would go with this. Yeah, we we gotta get our we gotta get our. Wait, you can color it. What do you mean? What? You ever think we'd end up here? There it is. I need any information you can give me about the Ezreal drones. Well, I'm afraid I don't know much. I want to know what the wolves have planned for them. Well, I do remember working with two scientists who worked on the first prototype. Their names were Dr. Starr and Dr. Romero. If you can find them, they might know something. Just a warning, though, they can be a little weird. Okay. But where can I find them? <laughs> Last I heard, they were working in the Channels province. I believe Channels Port is there, so Yo, try that. If we could take down those Ezreal drones, that'd Fjord, be dope. Just southwest of Make the Oroa Archipelago. Gotcha. Thanks. Make my life a lot easier. We have a situation, Nomad. Sentinel put up roadblocks around their area of operations. We've got friendly stuck on the other side. All right. Keeping separated might keep your people safe. I've seen this before. You squeeze people till they're so desperate they do something stupid. Then you have every excuse to wipe them out. Yeah. The Sentinel, it's best to expect the worst. 
I have a feeling in my gut that this is the beginning of something that could end everything I care for. For what it's worth, I have great respect for your gut. The farmer's caught out there. They have medicine, insulin that some folks out here depend on to stay above ground. So it's not just people. We need to get supplies into. Before the radio cut, the driver, Kyle, Maria's brother, was talking about trying to run the blockade. The boy's just a farmer. I'll take care of it, Matt. I really like the fact that you can recolor the future soldier. I know it doesn't seem like much, guys, but like, this is dope. Right, we're gonna push this J uh, Scal main mission though too. Somebody said you can also clean your rifles and stuff. Uh, let's see what that what they mean by. So we go what load out. Here and paint clean and renew paint. Oh, so it wears down over time. Oh yeah, look at that. Now it's nice and nice and clean looking. Oh, that's dope. Same thing. Yeah, my handgun's all scuffed up and shit. Clean and renew paint. I think we'd end up here. That's really cool. I know that I, I think your paint jobs on Wildlands would fade a bit too. I just got a helo right here. Time to switch to night vision. We're going to head to this J Scale mission right down here. So we're back to having a helo. Find a good landing zone. Back here should be okay. That's a clip front right there, so we gotta be careful. Switch in the night vision. All right, so we'll try to find some intel. Maybe give us an idea of where he is in this facility.
Night vision on. Charles, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate that, and I'm glad you're enjoying the content, man. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have to do my teammates up. I don't want to spend too much time doing it right now because people complain that I spend too much time in the menus when I'm playing these games. But I'll get them. I'll get them dressed up. Okay, so this wasn't what we were looking for. Check your intel in the Aurora Arch page. page. So, <laughs> so what fucking page is that? I don't I don't know what the hell that means. Aurora what? This None of those have to do with the main mission I'm on right now, though. Just says, um, investigate the Skell Foundation head office. So the problem is, is I don't know where the head office is, and it's not marked. So I guess I'm just gonna have to find it myself. Try in this big building. Jet, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you. Probably could have grabbed one of those dudes. Oh, hold on, there it is. We got a marker now. Shooting! 
Enemy down. I didn't invest I didn't expect all this uh ooh. I didn't expect the underground of this to be so big. Get this injury taken care of really quick. So the team is so aggressively OP. Like, are they just pushing forward, killing everybody? Yeah, they didn't. That's the stuff. <laughs> there he is. J Skull. Come on, we gotta move. Shit. All right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with Aurora. Now, Maurice Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Ayana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO? Who's working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with Mad Shells. Cave? You know what? It's it's cooler than it sounds. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. It's my fault. All of this. <laughs> I can fix it. Yeah. The answer's the drones. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. Hey, tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover of Aurora. All he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a friend. Yeah. yeah, I did too. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. Go, go, go!
Walker. Josiah. What the fuck? It's good to see you, Nomad. Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Josiah, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. <laughs> and we have a plan to make the world better. You, know, you killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen to become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, they just, they don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You, you gonna turn me over? No. Good old Nomad. You always were righteous. That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. We need to get out of here. That's the way out. We vent toxic fumes through there. It might kill us. They will definitely kill us. Why is he doing this, though, man? I can't believe Josiah really fucked us over, too. Like, Hill was our dude, man. We were working with him. for some night vision. If Josiah bailed on us, I wonder if Walker's got an actual decent reason on why he's doing what he's doing. how this is going to blow over having him come here pretty sure everybody what was i supposed to 
I was supposed to talk to him. I wonder if everybody's going to blame him for this whole thing. Skell, CEO of Skelltech. Yeah, I know who he is. How long we've we been neighbors? Hmm? Maybe you should have tried to be friendly before you needed help. Oh, I was wrong. I thought you and your friends wanted to be left alone. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Fox was right. He wasn't the one behind Sentinel's takeover of Aura. Walker was. Now they're after him, because he could take down the drones. And you think it's a good idea to bring the egghead here? You want to throw him to the wolves? It's better than the wolves coming here. Jace! Oh, Harmony. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay. We missed you. Are you gonna stay with us? Harmony, I don't know if that's a... Matt? Is he gonna stay? You have to let him stay. Yeah. All oh, right, okay, okay, okay. Of course he can stay. Awesome. Let's go set up your computer. Mads, thank you. I'm gonna do all I can for you and your friends. I, I promise you. You know, just how many damn computers are you all gonna set up? Now, speaking of which, your dad's got something he needs to show you. Anything different since that broadcast went out? Some outcasts slowly <clears throat> took up with you. I think they're looking for an alliance. Fox. Mad said you had something to show me. Chase! Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Shaw said you had something. This is important. Someone still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. Terrorist activity was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. A scout tech security alert is in attack. Do something! This didn't have to be unpleasant. Found just the guy you need for your wonderland. I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck! Move it! Quit your caterwauling. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go! Don't you glare at me, son of a bitch. I'm a simple man. You promised to cooperate. And as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. My God, that's Trey Stone. He's the CEO of Sentinel, our private security firm. And you hired him? Not to do that. Miles, a government liaison. He suggested I hire Stone. Peter Miles. He's a company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. Did that asshole set us up to fail? Man, I hate managers like that. 
You were never like that, Jace. How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. The bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding, and we created the Omega security program. And then uh, Walker came on board as a military advisor. And when you try to shut them down, they took over. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus, that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes. But I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad, really. I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. There it is. <laughs> so I got to learn this this mission board here a little more guys. There's uh quite a bit going on here. As you guys can see like there's different like sections you got the different episodes. Like, I guess this is episode one. Uh, oh, wait. Are these all of our targets? Kind of like in... Uh... No, I think these are just all the people involved. But these might be like targets. Kind of like... Operation Greenstone. And as you guys can see, you can switch... Between the episodes. Whatever all this shit means. <clears throat> okay, so we have one mission here. We have the one mission there. And I got these side missions. So it said there was a code on the badge. Investigate the badge's origins. So for the side quests, it's actually pretty cool. You find like intel and stuff like that and it helps you progress the side quests. I still have those two side quests we got to do, and then we got this main mission here for Skell. So is the broadcast having any effect? Some outcasts loaded me up with gear. I think they're looking for an alliance. All right, genius. Tell me this plan of yours. I can exploit a flaw in the drone control program to take control of a sector of drones that controls the perimeter of the island. But I need help. We need to find my head engineer. We need to make sure that back door in the drone's programming stays open. And we need an advanced AI we're developing. Okay, so those are all three of the things that we needed. So we got to uh, talk to Skell about the AI. Tell me about this AI. To take control of a sector of drones, we need this AI to hijack the drone control program. The AI is the centerpiece of our campus on Darkwood Island. The campus is built overlooking St. Patrick Lake. And do you know what kind of sentinel presence is on that island? It's bad. Lots of soldiers. Lots of surveillance. Of course All it is. Right. So how do I get my hands on the AI? Find Christina Cromwell. 
When Grace Maddox, our lead computer scientist, got a little controversial, Cromwell took over the AI department. Maddox is brilliant, but Cromwell will know the AI inside and out. If we're lucky, she'll know how to get it. Okay. How am I supposed to help with the drone program? The back door, the flaw in the program needs to stay open. Traystone knows about this flaw, and I had a computer security team working on it. They were the people he was putting on the truck in the video. Of course. So he's got them working on it again. I'll get them free. And he guess where they are? There's a tech lab where the security team servers are located. And you'd better destroy the servers too, so no one can complete their work. Got it. Prisoner rescue. Tell me about this engineer you need. Paula Madera. She's my drone expert. She's brilliant. I can't write this program without her. I know she's still on the island, but she left Skeltec right after Sentinel arrived. Are they after her? I have no idea. All I can tell you is where she used to live. It's a start. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. All right. So we got those. How to join the raid? What is what is the raid? Now walk me through this Titan program. It has to be a target, right? I mean, it's a secret Skell project on Golem Island. What more do you need to know? Any idea what they do there? What would make it a priority threat? I don't know. You have to understand. The Jace Skell I know would have considered a killer robot beneath him. He's a genius, sure, but when I came to work for him, it was because he was revolutionizing technology. Then, after Project Amiga ramped up, the work changed. He seemed to change, too. Fine. But what was he so afraid of that super robots were the answer? Is there some major city that needs protecting against mutated fire-breathing dinosaurs or something? Look, I've been asking myself that question every day since I left. If I were to hazard a guess, and this is purely speculation on my part, but I have to imagine that the program slipped into Walker's hands somehow. Maybe he and the wolves took the lead on it. But... I can't really give you any insight into fighting whatever they're making. That said, if the robots are Skells, they could eventually be the most devastating weapon this world has ever known. So yeah, I'd say they're our priority threat. Titan. Okay, so we got these three main missions here. So this main mission, the one with Walker, this is the one you guys said I, I'm not strong enough to do, right? Oh, we got to try to kill this dude? Oh, that's probably why it's super... Yeah, I got it. I'm tracking. So we got these, and then we have these side quests here. Investigate Golem Island is far to the northeast of Aurora. So that's the, uh, look at that. Then we got this, Smuggler's Code, talk to Shelby, investigate the badge, and then reach Channel's Port. Keep those two pinned for right now. And... Cromwell was, I think she was the one that, uh, we got to find out where she lives. She, she sounded pretty good. So we'll get her going. We'll, uh, place that one. Drones. Drones. They're going to put this thing on drones. I know. I know. 
Ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. And <laughs> what were we? What were our lives? Part of a test run? Looks like that's all we are. Your score has to be on parades. So let's go find the origin of those uh, the ID card. to keep up with the no no well you got to remember i play on pcs uh, sometimes i get caught up um between with the controls but honestly the, the the hardest thing is going from one game to another so for instance in wildlands the button to bring up your drone was v and bringing up your nvgs was n in this game bringing up your drone is x and uh, NVGs is V, so it, it's honestly that that that's where I have issues when I'm used to playing, you know, a Ghost Recon game. And I start playing another one. I'm used to the old controls, so then I'm sitting there like hitting the wrong buttons. But now I adjust the new controls fairly quick. Z, yeah, maybe it was Z. I don't, I don't remember what button it was, but it's, it's different than this one. Let's see, where do we want to land? Probably over here. It seems clear. The thing I like about only having the, the two weapons instead of the three, the two primaries, is it... It's definitely forced me to use my pistol a lot more. I thought he was had a gun. Okay, it's just a civilian.
Okay, just a bunch of civvies. <laughs> Gotta be careful. We're gonna go around the village, try to get information about uh, that lady that lived there. Hi. Hey, I'm looking for some information. Oh no, the badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of military badge that reads AAB Typhoon 403. Does that sound familiar to you? Any idea where it came from? That's the story. Thanks. See you around. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Yes, Pop. It wasn't my fault, guys. I went to go move my mouse and I accidentally hit the, <laughs> the button. <laughs> so just a village full of civvies trying to put their lives back together. I don't know how to holster the gun. I would have if I did if I knew how to. So does it tell me what information I got? So if I come here, what information did that guy give me about the... Okay, so an old anti-aircraft base is northwest of the sink in Country Providence. Um, the badge had something to do with that location. Like an old base probably means enemies. I do see these bunkers. They might not be active, but we gotta be careful. A little tight right here. He's here, hundred percent. From what I could see, nobody in the bunkers. They definitely seem old and active. We do have guys. at the building itself. This base is pretty, pretty serious. Also heard some guys over here. Probably do some work from the top of one of these bunkers. Find entry. But we want to get into this main. It's either, it's either that building. This building. I mean, there's a bunch of buildings we could check, but those are going to probably be my two primary targets. Um, okay, we do got guys in the first bunker right here. We'll 
We'll snag up that intel. Roger that. Moving now. Maneuvering to the target. Ready to shoot. <clears throat> target blocked. <clears throat> that sniper off the roof. <laughs> Guys, thank you for almost 300 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Let's see if we can do some work here. Let's see a sniper. There he is. Generator right here. Prepared to fire. Hostel got away, boss. Targets in my crosshairs. One guy went inside. Wait and see if this guy comes back out, because I, I wouldn't mind put, if we can clear off this backside here, we'll be able to push in pretty easily. There is that double patrol kind of walking around the base, these two. They're also uh, part of the group take out. Damn it. I don't got visual boss. Moving to the target. Ready, go lead. Okay, go lead. We're clear. Nice shooting. Keep 
See, the AI in this one, they know something's up. Like, oh, what was that noise? But they didn't, like, in Wildlands, you know, they insta-lock on you. Like, no matter what, they know exactly where you are. Reinforcements, teleports to your location. This dude. You see, they don't know where I am. If this was Wildlands, they would know exactly where I was. See, and they just start patrolling. See, I like that. that that's way better. So I could definitely say I like the way that the enemy AI responds in this one. It's a little more realistic than Wildlands, because um, that was I've been I was saying that since day one, guys. That was one of the the actual things I didn't like about Wildlands was how the enemy AI would just insta lock and know exactly where you were. bug out
So after several weeks, we've been unable to find our man attached. We will find a transcript of his final transmission. He was last seen Typhoon Bay. By all accounts, it seems he perished due to the storm and weather-related circumstances. Prioritize the search, and if anything turns, will. Okay, so yeah, I picked the info. So, hey, zero. Thank you so much for three months, man. I appreciate that. Um, so he was last spotted at Typhoon Bay, but don't we need to go to Typhoon Bay for another mission also? Okay. So I think there might be more intel here. That was only one of three, I believe. Yeah, there was only one of three pieces of intel. So we'll go try to get upstairs. Oh, I can see another one right over there. Man, why? Why can't I ever just keep it clean, guys? Firing on hostiles. He's dead. Let one of them up. So bad, dude. What's that? The VIP's trying to check. That was the only frag I had. Hostile down. He's dead. Last heal.
damn it. I took a hit. I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. Cover me. Sniper. <clears throat> there he is. Was that who was just spotting me? We need to find some health, man. If we could find some syringes, that'd be dope. Right there, we got some heals. Nope, oh, that was endurance rations. down so we got two brand new pieces of intel let's check those Wild report. Special type. The homesteaders know more about the old bunkers in Typhoon Bay. Okay, so am I supposed to go back and talk to the homesteaders then about it, I guess? <laughs> Typhoon Bay on the map somewhere. So we just gotta head over here to and speak to the home setters. That's actually not very far. Uh, we'll grab a vehicle. Have some kind of armored vehicle right out in front of us. Mm -hmm. 
Sniper. Sniper's about to engage us. I get super chat notifications. Oh, did you? S my bad. Yeah, my bad. MRD. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I've always found Breakpoint to be very comparable to uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh, I like the game, but Five is. I I I was a I I was a fan of um of MGS Five, like how that game moved, the animations, everything it was very very smooth. Uh. The new one, it was that that game was like perfection. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was I was I was super big. Probably just take this route. I don't. I don't know how deep the water is, is over here, but we can check it. We can try it. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Rusty, how you doing, brother? What was somebody saying something? Because I wasn't talking to chat in that moment. I was in the middle of a mission. Guys, I'm telling you, there's some there's some hardcore viewers out here, you know. They they they're they're pro streamers on their off time. And they know how to do things perfectly. You know, they can stream to hundreds and hundreds of people, play the game at 100 percent and fully interact with their viewers at the same time. I I haven't learned that skill yet. I'm still I'm still in training. So you know when I'm in the middle of a mission. But it's a lose-lose, guys. Honestly, it really is. It's one of those things, and I've talked to you guys about this before, is if I constantly stop like this and, I, and I'm talking to chat and I'm constantly talking to you guys and No, nah, yeah, you don't have to you don't have to perma ban them, Caspi. No, nah, that's not a bannable offense, bro. People can talk shit about me all day, man. That's fine. Um The the thing is, is I could I could stop and, and talk to chat and do this all day. You know what I mean? And that's what I used to do a lot back in the day. I would keep stopping. and But then I get people that are like, bro, play the game. Like, you're constantly pausing. You keep pausing the game. You keep pausing the game. Stop pausing the game. Like, and they keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Um, so then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll focus more on the game and less on trying to keep up with the hundreds and hundreds of people in chat. You know what I mean? And then it's like, it's a lose-lose. And then you get people, oh, well, you never talk to chat. You you know, and it's just like, so there, there's no way to win, guys. You just do your best is what it is. Shit doesn't bother me. Okay, so that's still quite a ways off. Ooh. No, 
of the swamp water seems too deep, though, so I think we'll be all right. Afraid. Hey, I'm looking for some information. Found some sort of military badge that reads AAB Typhoon 403. Does that sound familiar to you? Any idea where it came from? That's I appreciate all. it. Thanks for having my back. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Most of the people that say that kind of stuff, though, they don't know the first thing. They've never streamed a day a lot. You know, they've never done it, so... It's easy to sit there and say what you would do or how you would be um, until you're in the situation and it's your full-time job and, the, you know, then, then it all changes, you know what I mean? But, yeah, most people that say that kind of stuff, they don't know the first thing about it. He's, he's putting metal on the fence. Yeah, yeah. You, look. He's welding the metal onto the, like, uh, see, there it is. The best sailor stand on shore. Exactly, dude. <laughs> I actually like this vehicle quite a bit. I wonder if we can use the gun. Like, if I clear my guys hot, I wonder if they'll actually use the gun. Right at the end here. I can use the gun? I, I Don't I gotta get out, though? Actually, first thing... I need to find some plants. That's one of the things we need to be on the lookout for right now is some, uh, I think I see some over here. I gotta, I gotta get some heal syringes crafted. I think we can use those, right? Yep. We actually have a bivouac right here. Um, so we're gonna head over to that really quick and I'm gonna I'm gonna craft up some heal syringes. Can you craft not in the bivouac? How? How do, how do you do it? Go to loadout. Yeah, I see the rations. I don't see the heal syringe. Uh. 
Got inventory menu. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Craft. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Okay, awesome. So we we don't need a bivouac to craft. And I got one more of those. So we can craft those kind of on the fly then. Now, what do I need for these, though? We got to get um, embedded AI core and optical lenses so we gotta we gotta take down some drones guys farm up some drones um these little sink shot drones are actually pretty expensive to craft now i wonder if you resting at a bivouac will heal you up though maybe i can get some free kills yeah i'm gonna have to buy them for sure yeah I, craft them is just not something we could do right now. See if coming here maybe heals us up. We'll also get our buff again. So I already, I still, my buff is still active. I can't use it. Again. Oh, what time is it right now? Yeah, we'll break camp right now. Yep, so my 40% injury resistance has been buffed back up. Got a target up here. Get in our armored vehicle and head back up there. So it seems like that buff, yeah, the buff refreshes every time you go in the biv, bivouac. Our people control that turret. That's fucking sick. Yo, it's so good, too. They really made the AI, like, efficient as hell in this one. The AI teammates. Young man. Need another one over here. Boom. It is. Clear out this building. We were able to get some uh, pretty easy shots on those drones with the armored vehicle. Yo, the armored vehicle is so good. There are three syringes after I don't need them anymore. Awesome. Got a frag grenade. <clears throat> oh, damn it. I keep doing I always do that, man. Instead of breaking it down for weapon parts, I grab it. We got a drone up there. Watch out. Real 
Coast's clear. We can come out now. Where's that other drone we hit? Where's the APC? The vehicle's there, so oh, it must have been more up right here. Yeah, this vehicle is definitely a keeper, 100%. I wish you could switch to the gun what like without having to get out, you know what I mean? That'd be cool, but I don't think you can. It was the same way in Wildlands. Some drones here. Stay calm. We'll stay calm. There's some ghosts. Roger. Getting in position. Stop. Roger that. Moving now. I have no clue. I swear. On your go, ghost lead. The target marked, boss. Rob Jones, thank you for the super chat, brother. Thanks for everything you do for me, man. Hey, I, I really appreciate that, brother. I appreciate what you're doing for me, man. It really means a lot. Okay, we got two optical lenses there. Hi. No need to be afraid. Oh, uh, we can get... Where can I find it? this weapon attachment? There is one place you might want to know about. I appreciate it. Goodbye. These dudes are... Doing all these civilians dirty, man. So this one we will break down. Ooh, wait. Now this handgun's actually worked. Well, my handgun is fully is upgraded, though. So this HDG might actually be better once upgraded. I like the sights on it, too. Only issue, it's only a 10-round mag. What was mine? Mine's also a 10-round mag, so they're the same. <laughs> Try it out. We, we could check it out. Let me see. So if we get out of here. We need advanced weapon parts to not nail that. Get the extendo mag for that. Still no uh, laser sights. I like the sights. Ooh, skeleton. Is this like a person skeleton or a... 
We need to gather any intel One of those we can find. science class skeletons. No uniform, no identification. Wait a minute. They got a ring on his finger. It's the same one from Mads' photograph. Damn. This is Cal's body. It definitely looked like one of them uh, science class skellies. Yeah, I'll check my skill tab here in a sec, guys. Time to switch to night vision. Got some new intel. So we found the ring on the body. And then we found um, these blueprints have been marked, circle, highlighted. They detail how to build explosive devices. And last but not least, found another military badge. Okay. So we found out what happened to Schultz. We got to go let, or what happened to Cal. We got to go let Schultz know. So that side quest is then completed. Uh, 100 percent I'm glad you enjoy the variety. I really do. Okay, so now we gotta go three clicks over there for that uh that main mission. That that's absolutely insanely far away. How do you actually take the photo? F12. Same as well. So we got three clicks in that direction. Um, that's for the main mission. Now that is on a completely different island. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll drive up towards these docks here and see if we can find ourselves a boat. So we're going to have to head back down, and then we'll come back up. See if we can get our hands on a boat. Even though I don't want to lose my armored vehicle. Um, it is what it is. So let's look into... So I got three skill points. Um... resource detection I don't ha I don't use a mini map so it's not gonna really help me all that much um when using a sniper rifle I get plus 20% damage okay that's good This does increase his handgun damage. Which I think is super important important for the uh the build we're using. The only if this thing was amphibious, right? I got that's one thing I gotta get better at, guys, is using my class. 
Because there's a bunch of different classes in this game, um, which, you know, attributes to different playstyles, and I feel like I rarely use my... So you're saying you could track your class ability, or your class, and then upgrade it? I don't see where you track it. Like, where do I see what I need to do to upgrade this? Okay, uh, three, kill three enemies with SMG without reloading or, re or swapping. I don't, I don't use SMGs though, and I'm not, I'm not going to lose my G28. Use it. That's going to have to wait. Grimmed, hey, how you doing? Thank you for the super chat. I hope you're having a great night. Yeah, that's a pretty easy one to get. But I'd have to drop my G28 in order to do it. there. We're about to eliminate these dudes. Having a beer loving the stream mate. Seeing as I'm running a sniper build most of the time, I might actually switch over to sharpshooter. A boat right here we can take. The name of it's a Woody. Rolling in style, guys. Yeah, so once we make landfall, we're just going to push in. What? It'll be a little bit of a hike until we can maybe find a vehicle. Uh, actually, that looks a little established over there. Doesn't look like I see any land vehicles from here, though.
That's just a big boat, bigger boat over there. Oh, right there, I see a vehicle. Some dirt bikes. Drone somewhere. Is this like an e-bike? This thing is stupid fast. Chris G, brother, with the five gifted members, dude. Thank you so much. Holy crap, brother. And everyone who receives one of those memberships, welcome to the family. Yo, that bike is insanity. It's so fast. So we're in position. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. No, I'm not going to use a heal thing yet. So this is our target. Now, it's kind of a shitty spot. Let's get in the cover. Do some reconnaissance. Definitely one entry there. To make entry on these all these little dock points here. Place is big. I don't even know what to start. I mean, maybe the big building in the here. Might be able to grab some intel. Sometimes you can grab intel and they'll, they'll point you in the right direction. Place looks insane. Envoys going, man. Oh, this place is insane. Let's move. Our canteen.
super ranked. Oh, we can get intel from him in there. Thinking maybe we can come in through this back door here. Let's come right up behind him while he's eating. Ask him. But we just gotta be careful. There's enemies everywhere. Got these two patrolling towards us. We might actually eliminate, knock these two out. your targets guys and target we're set on please dude Well, I wanted to hit A, B. I wanted them two to hit those two and me to hit these. With the other. I wanted to take out all four. But it doesn't look like it's going to. I, I don't know what why my alert bot. But MRD, brother, with the donation. Love the merch store. However, I think it's missing one of your icons. I have not, yeah, I know, I have not got any, uh, there it is, merch yet, MRD going. <clears throat> yeah, MRD, my, um, my, my alert box is super messed. I'm having a lot of issues with, uh, Streamlabs OBS and Windows 11. Can't get B, I'll get B. I'm on the target. Killed him. All four of them dropped. MRD, I'm sorry, brother. I appreciate the donations, man. Seriously. No, yeah, I am, dude. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, man. I hate when that shit happens, though. We're going to try to go around this way. Hmm, is that a weapon blueprint? Yeah, we can get the blueprint for the AK-12. That's, that's definitely low prio, though. It's right there, so we'll grab it. A lot of collectibles here. A lot of collectibles here. Thomas Lee, today's been good, brother. What? What is it? Hey. Negative contact here. 
Relax, guys. Don't. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey. I'm looking for Christina Cromwell. Any idea where I could find her? That's all. Honest. Appreciate your help. I better take a look. We found the bodies. Christina in the building. She's upstairs. Gotta be a little careful. The enemies are now on alert because they found the bodies outside. Yo, can you pick up bodies and move them? I'm so used to, um... I'm so used to Wildlands where the bodies despawn. But in this one, it doesn't seem like the bodies despawn. They just stay there. Oh, you can move the bodies? We're going to have to start doing that. I'm definitely playing uh, Castillo Protocol. Hell yeah. Talk to me, brother. Not another one. What the hell is this shit? Ah, uh, so, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm a scientist. I've been analyzing these test results for hours. We're Don't getting nowhere. Sub. What are you trying to achieve? Abstract art? Uh, no, no. But I'm starting to think the Scale Security R&D Center gave us a bad batch of paint. It's making these drones behave erratically. They, they, they either lose their way or full on crash into the walls. You know, I've, I've lost a dozen in the last hour. Well, that's inconvenient. So what's the pain actually supposed to do? Well, I mean, not this. I mean, okay, it's paint, so it's supposed to look pretty, but it's also supposed to act as a trigger signal for the drone. So clearly somebody over there screwed up. If it's causing this sort of chaos, it might be worth my while. Now, you said you got this batch from the Scale Security R&D Center, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I wonder if these drones are still prototype versions. Wait, is he going to give me some type of... <laughs> I could potentially get some kind of paint that messes up the drones? Yeah, nothing else in my sector. I'll definitely be playing the RE4 remake. Yep. Wait, what are you doing? Stay focused. Don't sleep on these guys. Oh, hi. There it is. Dr. Christina Cromwell. My name is Nomad. I was a soldier in one of the choppers that crashed on Aurora. I'm working with Jay Skell. He's alive? Well, I mean, Ayana Puri's announcements are so scary. How is he? Well, we're working to get civilians safely off of Aurora. But we need your help. But this island, the ex-cop who works for Sentinel, Ian Blake, he's got this island locked tighter than... Well, the surveillance drones we made to keep us safe? They're now keeping us prisoner. There's a big difference between surveillance to keep people safe and being a totalitarian peeping Tom. Yeah, yep. I can't object to that sentiment. Look, now Jace thinks he could take down enough of the drones so we can get some people out of Aurora and bring some help in. And Jace wants the AI. Bingo. The security team ran an assessment on our systems a couple of months ago. If you can find those reports, it'll, you know, give me an in on how to hack the AI. Won't those holes be fixed by now? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Most advanced place on the planet, but the bureaucracy is as slow as anywhere. Try Archimedes Hall. That's the data center. You should find the reports there.
Okay, so we do. I am a little worried because we got these guys on alert, but maybe they're on alert over here. <laughs> we grab these this gear here. A beanie. We got skull credits. No, that's not skull credits. What is that? Whatever it is, it's downstairs. <laughs> Skill point, okay. So let me check this so I understand the assignment. Gather intel on the AI. So we got to go over this building now um, and see if we can gather some intel. Should be able to sneak back out, hopefully. I really would like to keep this mission chill. Didn't I just say I wanted to keep this mission good? You see what happens when I open my fucking fat face? Literally, I should have just not said anything. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. <clears throat> this place seemed like if it went live, it was going to be really, really hard to deal with. And sure enough. So, okay. So the good thing, the difference between this game is when you lost the mission in Wildlands, it would sometimes literally bring you all the way back, guys. Um, but it seems like we maintained our checkpoint. So we're going to boat all the way. Let's boat around the other side. So what I really meant was we're going to run. We're going to run around to the other side.
That's a nice ass helo, man. So we'll approach from this side, it'll be the easiest. I think those radio, yeah, so, so we got to make sure we watch out for these radio operators. Those are the guys that call in the reinforcements. And the generators over there. Yeah, this is it. I like the fact that the bodies stay though. That that no wonder why I kept getting caught. Uh, like I said, when you play Wildlands, the bodies just disappear after a few. Se yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's freaking dope. Under the sea. Under the sea. So anything electrical should be out of commission now, right? I don't know if I want to cut through this building. Let's see. Actually, let me see if I can. Really quick, I want to see if I can go ahead and craft any of these drone. Nah, what am I missing? Embedded AI cores. 
Those are salvaged from flying combat drones. <clears throat> so we're going to have to do this. Not a happening over here, boys. Moving to the target. Ready, boss. He's a drone operator. We got all of them. Good hits. Should all be bundled up over here now. Now the only ones we've got to worry about is the patrol of two. This guy here. I'll just eliminate those two that are patrolling around. Can't pick that big guy up. I don't have to worry about the turrets anymore because I uh, I turned the power up, right? <laughs> Let me figure out where those two wa patrollers are. I just want to get eyes down the front of this corridor here, make sure nobody's right there. Copy, boss. Moving there. Moving in on hostile. Set here, boss. Not the target. I do see another guy up there. And these two patrolling. These two also. Damn it. Let's see what these two do really quick. <clears throat> I might check out, check out the Gotham Knights, yeah. And thank you for almost 400 likes, guys. I appreciate it. So we got... Two groups of two patrolling towards us. Getting in 
position. Moving to position. Raj, getting in position. Okay, all eliminated. Well, Outstanding. Activating night vision goggles. I dropped quite a few bodies, so there's a good chance that uh, they'll spot the bodies. But the area we're in is pretty clear now, so. Good 
to go. Maneuvering now, boss. Prepared to fire. Seems like it's down on this end. Let's finish the mission. I was trying to get the intel off these dudes, but not worth it right now. Activating night vision. Get upstairs, get this mission done. Because uh, aggro on that drone is going to be a bad day. A lot of the dudes that had intel, they bled out. So we went ahead and two out of three. Where the hell? Unless the third one is off of one of these guards. Surprise, shitbag. Give me your PC password, and this ends without you screaming in pain. All right, okay. Look, I'll talk. Here's my password. So we got what we needed. Let's move all. I 
so all we got to do is go talk to her. So I want to know, guys, what are the big differences? Like, there was a lot of stuff being said about Breakpoint that made it worse than Wildlands, but it seems like it's exactly like Wildlands, just better <laughs> in, in so many different ways. What I'm playing right now is superior to Wildlands. Dark in here, I was gonna Put say. My night goggles on. Killed the power. Looks like a previous hack attempt was halted by the automated security network. Cybersecurity wasn't part of my... It's not my thing. But I mean, yes, we should be able to bring the network down. Is this going to be more computer hacking? For me. For you, it's more like shooting and exploding stuff. Max. That'll do just fine. Okay. In theory, I could download the AI if you can plug a dongle into the system at the comm center. But I mean... He's not stupid. Blake is using our security network. So can we get the network down? We just need it down long enough for the upload. Yeah. Sure, taking out the mountaintop antennae would slow the network down on Darkwood Island. That would buy you time. But the hard lines... If you can also cut the hard lines, but those are like in this cavern by the coast, if you can also cut those, my I should ass be able work. to download the AI. You just sit tight. I'll make it happen. You're... wow. You're confident. I'll meet you at the spot I put on your map. Good luck. Switching the night vision. What's the thing is the voice acting obviously isn't great, but we don't play Ghost Recon for good voice acting, you know what I mean? Even Wildlands ghost voice acting wasn't that great. Especially, on, you know, and it was all done over radio. There was no cutscenes unless it was Bowman interrogating somebody. There really was no story to it, you know what I mean? It was just a, a, le a, a legit sandbox. Like, I, I, people would say that um, Wildlands was repetitive i didn't think wildlands was all that repetitive but if i had to compare the two games i would say wildlands is extremely more repetitive than this game at least so far from what i've seen so at least here i get to talk to different people and they get to tell me to do different things so we're gonna go to which one's closest 3k 8.5. What? No, no, that's not right. We're not going to find a damn thing out here. Let's head up. Hit the water. Go back around. We'll grab that boat. There's a boat across the way. I would, I would still give the Wildlands map 
the W. That map was just, oh my god, it was freaking stunning. But I've also only seen like two Providences here. Ooh, we can actually take their attack, Hilo. Only thing is this one is kind of big. I'm not the greatest at flying the big helos. Now, like I said, I can't speak on that looter shooter nonsense that this game has, because uh, obviously I'm, I'm not playing it. And I could understand how people could absolutely despise that. But we have this discussion all the time, guys. When I ask, not like when I ask you guys, but when I ask somebody, is Breakpoint a good game? And they say no. And they're giving me their opinion from when the game was... Well, it's different now. Yeah, well, I, when I'm asking if Breakpoint's a good game, I'm not asking you, was Breakpoint a good game when it first came out? If I wanted to know if Breakpoint was a good game when it first came out, I would ask you, was Breakpoint a good game when it first came out? But if I say, is Breakpoint a good game, I'm asking you what the game is like right now. Like, if I were to play Breakpoint... Is it going to be good? And there's a lot of people out there, I can tell you right now, that are given some bad information. Because this game is just as good as Wildlands, if not better. And I've, I, like you guys said, I'm just now scratching the surface. Right, let's get on the thermals. This place is jam-packed with baddies, and uh, it's dark as hell. Man, these animals are throwing off my damn thermals. Use that healer to get the hell out of here. This game is gorgeous, man. Like, look at that. Like, the little, like, bit of moonlight shining through. Like, that shit is freaking fire looking. A lot of baddies here, guys. Holy crap.
Have to drop these two here. They're gonna they're gonna spot the body. Of this I'm gonna wait for them to get up higher though. Do they have NVGs on? The flashlights. Rock and roll. Night vision on. Fireflies. Got a weapon bloop or attachment up there. You can turn off the hit markers too. I, I just don't know how. I remember seeing it before, and I didn't remember where the damn setting was. But guys, when I tell you, you can customize the shit out of it. This game is crazy. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I could turn that off. I could turn the crosshairs off. Um, dude, there's so much shit you can turn off. But now, now. Now there won't be any hit markers. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's the, uh, Somebody just straight seen him drop. So we're in a little bit of trouble now. Let's see if they have the ultimate Wildlands AI super find you instantly powers. The gunshot. Keep a lookout. Son of a bitch is out here somewhere. Okay, go sleep. We're clear. Solid work. Yeah, so they didn't automatically know instantly where I was, which is great. They know the direction I am in now because they seen the gun. They heard the gunshot and shit. Ooh, we got a heavy over there. We're in the woods in the middle of the night. They, they should not know where we are, you know? They know we're shooting at them. They know we're here, but they don't know where. And that's... You know what I mean? How the hell would they be able to see me in this? Putting on night vision. Maneuvering to the target. Ready, go, Sleet. Let me get a clean shot. Getting in position. Set here, boss. Enemy target locked. Where are you blocked? We're clear. They're gone. Well done. All clear here.
Hold on, what are these? Hold on, guys. What is this? What is this? What is this? World parameters. Your squad leader can use world parameters to change the composition of the world and allow you to experience live events again. Um, world parameters, eminent population, or can also be tweaked at will. So you can have drone presence. And guys, you can literally reduce the drone presence on the map. You could turn the drones in the sky off and you could turn off helicopter. Terminator. What the fuck is Terminator? Terminator presence? Resistance. And then Operation Amber Sky. What the fuck are these? So is this more game? Like more stuff? On top of the base game. So that's more content up on top of episode one, two, and three. Or is that like episode, like the other episodes? Oh, that's legit, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of content in this game. That's sick. No more contact. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Maybe there's still waiting to hit it. Gotta, gotta love it, right, guys? Gotta love ghosting some fools. This game has the same strong suit that Wildlands had. Like, you play the game how you... Like, if how I'm playing right now isn't your play style. You know, you're not all about that sneaky shit. Um, go loud. Do your thing. Blow this place to smithereens. Can't disable that light for whatever reason. I didn't need eyeballs. Let me go grab that uh, item on the roof real quick, the attachment. What do you want? Lax. Hey, no, no, please. Are you long range sight? What, what? What is it? I would kill the lights. I don't know where the Jenny is, though. I'd have to search for it. But at that point, we've already killed, up, cleaned out most of the enemies. Let's 
Kill credits. Shit. What are you doing here? Relax, city. On the ground! The civilians, guys. Oh. Alright, that, literally that was it. One hack down. Uh, I thought I had two more left to go on the island. But we have the one... Out that way, but then there's also one behind us. Yeah, it's up on the mountain. We're gonna snag up their little helo they have here. Activating night vision. What do you want? Go to the we'll go to this one first. There was there was people in the comments last episode. Um, and they were 100% set that I was going to be changing the uh, changing the settings that I put the game on. I was like, "Damn, people are doubting my doubting my abilities, guys." So I'm doubting my abilities. We're still going two episodes strong. So the Panther playstyle. What is the Panther playstyle? Because I'm yeah, I, I see people talking about the skills in the chat, and I, I'm like, yo, maybe I should have went. Um, maybe I should have went sharpshooter because I am. I'm doing a lot of sniping. But it has this. I mean, that's my play style, though. That's just my go to when I get caught. You know what I mean? Okay, so this area looks dope. Um, beachfront, tall building. We got good sight lines. Switch to night vision. You come across the breakpoint behemoth yet? No, it isn't that. I don't know what that is. I 
I don't think I can get a leg shot from here, though. I'll know one when I see it. Yeah, I haven't seen no behemoth yet. So it seems like they just got the three guards. Can't see where the... Okay, there we go. Putting on night vision. More likes. Smash that like button if you want to see more breakpoint. There it is. Well, Agent Brother, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate the support, man. And Chris G, I appreciate the super chat, brother. Tell me what I want to hear, bro. Tell me what I want to hear. You're going to end up over this ledge. Listen, unless you want it to go really bad, tell me how to infiltrate the comp center. I got nothing more to say. Please, don't hurt me. Stayed by the railing, dude. Okay, so this says um, find another way to enter the under cables. There is an entrance on the west side accessible by boat. Okay, so we got to go back down. What's a dock over here? Might have been a boat too. We could probably just walk down the coast, realistically. Would save us a... Uh, yeah, we'll just walk down. It's fine. Nice stroll. The moonlight. That's why they said accessible by boat. Literally. Babe. Activating night vision. I just get stuck. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're stuck like Chuck, guys. I found ways to get stuck in wildlands. <laughs> I find ways to get stuck in breakpoint, baby. Some things never change. Exit and come back in. I did the stealth dive. Yeah, it didn't work. Probably just throw me right outside the cave-ish area, right? They're really promoting that Operation Motherland hard. Guy. It's everywhere. It better live up to the expectations. Like uh, that, it's literally everywhere. Damn, now it's daytime. Oh, let me see. Let me, uh, like, right there. I don't ever want to, I don't want to cheat. It has to be every time. Um, let me get a drone up. See if there's a bivy in this area. See any smoke? Bivy's over there. There's one up here. Want it to be nighttime again. Does my new no my my new PC doesn't even or not. Well, it doesn't even go in a high gear. I haven't been able to push it yet enough to where it gets the fans going. All right, so we're going to rest up. Wait for it to be nighttime. We'll head down in that cave. So be honest, chat. What have you guys been thinking um, so far of this playthrough? I I love it. I'm I'm having a great time. I want to thank you guys for almost 450 likes on the on the on the stream. Is it is it, um here it is sharpshooter. Oh, did I, did I not unlock it? Uh, yeah, we'll get these built up. Pretty easy now, keep in mind. The game was built initially without AI teammates you were meant to be a lone soldier caught behind enemy lines. We complain about having the option for teammates until they finally added them and the immersive mode. Yeah, Agent, that is a huge super chat, brother. Holy crap. Thank you so much. Man, I, I really appreciate that, dude. Holy crap. Um, No, I, I completely agree, guys. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think playing the game without teammates like it, it's it's a cool idea you know what i mean i wouldn't but i i really enjoyed the teammates in wildlands like it just you know that's how all the ghost recon games have always been you've always been a small team of four guys you know that's advanced warfighter all of them you oh shit that was 10 in the morning not 2200 um so I can definitely see people's frustrations when the game first came out, but has there been anybody who hasn't played the games, you know, when it, since it came out, who maybe seen these streams and are like, oh, this is uh, not what I thought it was, and maybe going to check the game out at some point? Yeah, I said I had to unlock it in the skill menu. I don't know what that means. It's like straight up got to, like, Oh, we actually got to spend a skill point on it. Got you. 
Yeah, well, I want to get. I, I still want to use the Panther one for now. I haven't given up on it. Not yet. But, Agent, seriously, I really appreciate that, man. That's a huge super chat, brother. I was holding space. There we go. Oh, almost hit the fuck up that tree. <laughs> we got guys right down there on the beach. Oh, we're hitting the tree. Toad's hitting the tree. Good. Dump ourselves right here in the juice. It's supposed to be 2100. It's not dark yet. But it's fine. It's still gonna be dark in the cave no matter what. Hear that, brother? This is bullshit. No one's out of here. Why are we wandering around out here? There's nothing around. Back up over. There's someone around here, and I'm gonna find them. All over that shit. Target's gonna be over. Yeah! We got hostiles in the area! Hostiles! Set here, boss. Hostiles out the way. I got hostiles over here! Copy that! I'm getting my boss to cover! This ain't gonna take long! You need to stay low. Heads up, we got company. On my way to grenade, run! I got dropped. I got dropped hard right there. Wake up! Hostiles in the area. Activating night vision goggles. Wanted to get up on this rock here, but I don't want to risk it stuck again. Can you scale this?
fall into the planet. Got stuck again. Stay away from this rock. See this rock here, guys? Don't go. Not worth it. Can you can you take down people from around cover? I guess I walk toward you, can you have them and kill them. Body through the through the railing. Let me get a clean shot. I need a shoot. Roger, moving. Mostly in hostiles in the wind. Whoa. Ready, boss. Oh shit. Get it. Nicely done. Hostile inside. I'm set to take out the target. Good hit. Good, we're good. Cleaned him up. Cleaned him up. Cleaned him up. Syrian civilians get hit with the J down by the K ones. Millions of people die in my lifetime. Yeah. No one's dumb enough to be out here. Do you ever shut up? Ah, nothing. I want off my. Huh? <gasps> no, I think he's off here. Patterson is dead. Look out!
I'm gonna say where it said I had to go. Oh no, no, we gotta keep pushing through. Get all the way into the main facility. Got it. But we're getting in there from underground. Once I pass it, it's done. Yes, that one's down. Um, so they got an M82. But yeah, there's no blueprints or anything that we need to snag up in here. We can we can head out. that 50 cal yep the m82 we'll break this down as well be expected for me at least we died so I don't know if my hero is going to still be over here So let's check the map here. Uh, <clears throat> our best bet is we could just go all the way around the island. Arc right up in this cove here. And then hike up. Go we'll find a car. We got a long journey, chap. We got a long journey. But I, I'm, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the missions. Like I said, it took me... The UI was a little overwhelming. Uh, last episode, you know, my first time. Because the Wildlands UI is very simple. Uh, this one was definitely quite overwhelming. But... Now after looking and working with it, I'm starting to, to feel it out. Okay, 
we still got quite a while. Yeah, it does look really good. No more boot gang. We're boat gang. Boat gang now. Cool thing is I, I find myself grounded in using other modes of transportation in this one um, a lot more than I was in Wildlands. In Wildlands, I feel like I was always flying almost exclusively. Like, there'd be a couple times here and there escaping a mission I would drive. But for the most part, I, I felt like I was flying all the time. And here, because you can't just you can't just get vehicles on demand. Um, I feel like I'm definitely using alternate modes of transportation more right now. Yeah, spawning them from the bivouac is one, th but the thing is, is well, you can spawn helicopters from the bivouac. Okay, we gotta go around this last bend, but I wanna know what the hell that truck is right there. Oh, you have to buy them first? Okay. I've never checked the bivouac to see what vehicles I have access to. Yeah, I do. I remember that list of vehicles that that lady had. So that, that, yeah, that's something to strive for, you know what I mean? Like earning money to buy yourself some nice vehicles. The game makes you work for it. They're not just going to give it to you. Ooh, okay. So this... Okay, we're gonna go on the other side of that. I was gonna say that looks like we could catch some some BS. But go on the other side, we should be fine. Man, that mountain is quite steep. So what game would you guys say has more? Because from, from right here where I'm sitting, guys, um, Wildlands had a lot of content. It was a big game. Which one would you say is bigger, Breakpoint or Wildlands? DLCs included. I'm talking everything. Because Wildlands only had the one playable DLC, which was that Fall and Ghost. The other one was kind of meh. The Saints Row DLC. This would be good. Roger. Moving 
to the target. Moving in on hostile. Copy, boss. Moving there. And target. We're set. Locked up. Uh, nice shooting. Put my night goggles on. <laughs> Dude, the MBGs are pretty crispy looking. I'm using my <laughs> so it'll give us level two upgrades on our EMP grenades. We're in the Death Stranding Mountains now, guys. Okay, the mistakes might have been made. There was literally a road. Yeah, it's getting too steep. I try to look at where the hell is this road? The path. 
right there. About to make our way to that path. Shit. As we go, we need to hide. So you know, I can't, I can't down. So we gotta follow this road around. It should bring us to a, uh, a snag up their dirt bike. There it is, boss. There it is. way up. I was trying to climb this. The mountain is insane. The shitty thing is there's not many places to land. this I'm trying to show you guys some skills you see that that's how you completely somersault a cartwheel or a helicopter switching the night vision On target, we're set. Alright, I'm gonna find you. Even in the dark. Find him. They're here. Son of a bitch is out here somewhere. I don't care if it's dark. I'll find you. Uh, uh, clear. Uh, clear. Uh, Rock and roll. <laughs> I 
we get up on this high ground here. Switch the night vision. My sector's all clear. My sight's clear too. Stay focused. Put my night goggles on. Let him try. Okay, go sleep. We're clear. Fucking three round burst bullshit was that? Casper, I see, I see you said this one is growing on you a little bit. So, in your opinion, what would you say is still more appealing for you? Because uh, you said you still prefer Wildlands. What, to you, what is Wildlands? To, I guess this is a question to everybody. What does Wildlands have minus the map? So, I would definitely say Wildlands, what map is absolutely legendary. Um, would you say li Wildlands has that, that, you know, this one is kind of still lacking on? Upgrade system. Yeah. Yeah. The skill system was pretty decent. Was a heavy in this location somewhere. I don't know where the hell he went. Good hit. Activating night vision goggles. Now that is one thing is. It is I, I see people in the chat saying the world felt more lived in now granted so far we've seen a couple small communities like you know like I, I don't know if that was it but there was like a couple small communities where you've seen the civilians do it but yeah you don't see civilians driving around in this game and and stuff like that it, it, it's a lot different than like you know wildlands which was like a full-blown country but the world feeling alive I mean if we're gonna be real what if there's civilians driving around down on the road, you know, from point A to point B, it feels nice when you're on the road driving around and you see that stuff. You know what I mean? You see the civilians walking around through the cities and stuff. It, it does feel nice. The world feels alive, lived in. But even Wildlands, I'm just being real, later on in the game, like, it doesn't matter whether there's civilian driving around because 99% of the time you're in the helicopter flying around you don't see them anyways you're literally just flying from point to point the guys on the road don't you might see them as you're coming down landing um and most of the time in the heavily infested uh areas that you get into later on in the game it's all bad guys anyways there's not even any civilians anymore you're literally just going up against different 
big groups of bad, you know, big Santa Blanca cartel base here, big Santa Blanca cartel base there, and you're just going from point to point. Not look, the, like towards the end of the game, I didn't even see any civilians because I was constantly in a helicopter and constantly bouncing from point to point. So I guess that's why that that's not a super big selling point for me at this point. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely was. Now, I don't know. Is there any big cities or anything like that that have civilians in it? Because, I mean, there's civilians right here. Like, look at this dude. He's, he's living his best life. I've already killed a civilian in this game, too. <laughs> there he is. I knew there was a freaking heavy. Where is he? Let's be up high. I got nothing. Night vision would help. Yeah. Night vision on. Sucks to suck, bro. What is this? I said I could check the map and see cities. I said, it, oh, well, yeah, like right down there. Look at that. Look at that place. Holy shit. That's crazy huge. But I mean, it's it's just like Wildlands. Realistically, if we brought up the Wildlands map and had this map, there would be, you know, places spread out just like this. Oh, that place is... What is that? It looks like some kind of solar field, maybe? Yeah, there it is, Gatsby. Wildlands did have llamas, bro. 100%. I even hit a couple. <laughs> what are you doing here? Relax, I'm saving you. They call me Captain Planet. Ammon assault area. I, I don't know what that means. Um, all right, we'll head over to our bivy here, and I'm, I'm gonna check out that garage thing that you guys were talking about in the bivouac. I, I always forget to skip the cutscene, guys. I just get like immersed into it. Okay. Um. So where would the? Well, let me check this. Now that I've unlocked other weapons, yeah. So the see, boom. There's my blueprints. I I got a MDR now. I got the TAC fifty and an AK twelve. Five five six seven six two. Three three eight. This is also three.
Charles, brother, what? Seriously, 20 gifted members, brother? That is way too much. Oh my gosh, holy shit, dude. Guys, hearts in the chat. Charles out here showing mega love. That is huge, bro. And everybody who receives one of those members said, hey, welcome to the family. Make sure you get some hearts in the chat and welcome, welcome. That is so kind of you, man. All right. So, so where's the garage symbol? Am I, am I looking right at it, guys? Or do I have to not be in the bivouac? Uh, I don't know how it works. Oh yeah, I probably I probably did turn it off to be honest with you guys. Garage at Bivouac. Oh yeah, I made it to the so it was the, the on, only at that big base because I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah I I did that on purpose because I didn't think spawning a car out in the middle of uh, the woods was very immersive, so I didn't do it. Plus, like Caspi said, I don't even have any vehicle blueprints anyways, I don't think. Wyatt, brother, thank you so much for the super chat, man. But now seeing you um, in immersive plays more like Wildlands, I wish um, you could play. They, they have the original version of Breakpoint. I just refuse to play it, you know what I mean? Um, I probably definitely would not enjoy it um, if it's anything like people said, but I am definitely enjoying this. Like, this is cool. Right, so we will end this episode here again. Let's realize how long we were going for. I got lost. I got lost in the game, guys. Um... But yeah, um, let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for almost thank you for almost 500 likes on the stream. Um, again, Charles, thank you. 20 gifted members. That's absolutely insane. I I, I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Uh, like I said, this game is a lot different. So if you played it back in its original form, this game is a it's it's I would say it's just like Wildlands, just on a new map. And um, it's on a new map with some really cool gameplay features. And oh, so far it feels really good. It feels really good. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So um, if you haven't, on your way out, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, I'm going to eat some food. And then we'll be uh, finishing up Uncharted tonight. So I love you guys. And thank you. See you in the next one. Peace.